Hello. Weekend's over. Or, no, weekend start. Sorry. Just like I'm about to hit start on this challenge. It's a very special challenge, mind you. Why is that? Because this is a nuclear world, and um, two reasons I decided to go with this map. Uh, somebody uh, put this up on GeoGuessr. It's all 139... Um, nuclear power plant sites, I believe, in the world, or at least that are available on a Geo Guesser. So, um, today, well, actually, it's it's technically yes. Well, today is the twenty sixth. I'm recording this, and the twenty fifth is also that too. Um, it's the anniversary of uh, Chernobyl, which um, where is this? I can't even see what these are um which happened oh what was it um 1986 i believe is when it happened and i just read a book i mean i mentioned it a few times already called uh, midnight in chernobyl and yes you're gonna hear the beeps quite a bit just because this is the second i get off of work is the second i come and uh record these things um it's uh, it's a very good book. I am recommending this. Um, as I've mentioned before, I do a challenge as far as uh, things I do a month where it's album a week. I mean, I haven't mentioned it in a, in a while, but I'm still doing it. Album a week. A, uh, the fuck is this? I know it's the U.S., but I don't know where. Album a week, a book a month, and a mountain a month. And the book that I read for last month was uh, the Midnight, well, for this month, actually, Midnight in Chernobyl. And I don't think I'm getting any closer to wherever that frig... I want to say this might be like Three Mile Island, but I doubt it is. Because um, I don't know entirely where all these power plants are in the U.S. And I'm not seeing enough information here yet. Yeah. Unless this says... No, it just says acreage. This railroad track is never used anymore. I got a minute 48 left. But it seemed an interesting little confluence of, uh, of, of uh, instances, circumstances, whatever you want to call it, of things that happened on today with me finishing that book, actually last night, and the anniversary actually happening in two days because it, it happened over midnight. But uh, I'll just um, be a little bit more praising of this book just for a w little while longer. I've got no idea where this is, other than it's just the U.S., just because I've seen nothing. Like, nothing here has told me a goddamn thing. I'm going to keep going this way, maybe try this way, and it might help me. But I've I've seen nothing to let me know where in the U.S. this is. And I'm a bit concerned that I've... Now, limited myself to where this potentially could be. And I'm just going to have to go ahead and make a guess that this is... This is either Wisconsin or it's uh, Pennsylvania. I'm going to say... I mean, I know there's one in Vermont. But, God damn it, I, I can't... No, give me farther up. I can't... I, I don't know. All right, I got to make this choice soon. So I've not seen any water anywhere. Oh, God. All right, give me just enough time, please. Grundy. Okay, uh, Wisconsin. Okay. <laughs> oh, I mean, I was just completely guessing. What What power plant is this? If my voice can stop, what is happening with my mouse? You'll find out which one this is. It's not saying anywhere around here. Dresden Island, maybe? I mean, I don't know. Got me. All right, where is this? Is this the... I hate how this thing's always on the map now. Get off, get off the map. Thank you. Now, I know that there's a lot of power plants in France, and apparently like 70% of their power is from uh, nuclear power, at least in France. And uh, what else about the book? 
Uh, there were some interesting like little tidbits, whereas like you know you really can't ever actually uh, study these things because of ethics and whatnot. But you know if there happens to be an accident, then yes, you might be able to. With uh, let's see, what's this say? What's this? Whoa. Voronezh, B-O-R-O-N-E-Z-H. Voronezh? Hmm, I don't know. Is that like, um, well, can I, can I, can I not go? Okay, I guess I can't. Let's hit home and, uh, head and, what is happening with this? Thank you. Get me, get me down this road. The okay, Novo Voronezh, Novo Voronezh. See, none of these. Uh, I can probably tell maybe what gas station we're at by looking at AGEC. AS, AE. I don't know. Is this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, this is not that. Um, I'm just all over the place here, aren't I? What's new? Anyway, um, little tidbits I, I mentioned throughout the week. I don't know if I should just keep babbling on about this or if you guys are just sick of it and just take it as me going, okay, uh, Boronej, that this is definitely something worth checking out. It's a well, very well documented, studied, thoroughly researched, very well written, interesting. I mean, if you're into the disaster stuff and basically getting a second by second breakdown of what happened during the uh, accident and the following hours, days, weeks, months, years that have that followed afterwards. It's surprising how much stuff's in there, but, uh, yeah, definitely check it out. And, uh, yeah. Month is ending. Uh, a lot's happened this month, at least for me. And I feel I've at least gotten the area right. Um, and we're gonna go with that. Beginning of the month, got back from my trip to Iceland. I did find the song. Now it's just a matter of actually getting all the uh, bits of music I have, I mean, all the videos I have to actually go with the song. Um, yeah, I don't have any other way of explaining what my thought process when doing that other than just like, hey, I hear the song and immediately I'm like, okay, I can picture all my video going to this. So that's basically my entire thought process, and that's why it's taken so long, is it's just like, no, it doesn't sound good. It's, it's all it's like appeasing my brain. I'm sure you've been like, yeah, just pick a song. But you're like, no, it, it it has to be right. Maybe it's just me and me being way too picky about a stupid little video that, whatever, not many people are going to watch, but at least I care about it. And that's all that matters. Um, you know, hike the mountain because I couldn't really do that. Yeah, they did mention that some of these photos are going to be a little bit blurry, but there's no dome, I guess they said. So this is going to be a bit shitty because someone wiped Crisco all over the lens of this uh, of this camera, even though it says 2017 Google on here. I don't know if that's actually coming through on the... Uh... Okay, we got a little bit better. Nope. But like I said, I didn't actually get to hike that mountain that I wanted to in Iceland just because the weather was so bad. So I am going to do that to well, when this goes up, it'll be tomorrow morning. Um, I never actually got to do any of the, like, uh, the recording. Like, I thought about actually doing, uh, like, a little video for each mountain that I hike, but I had not gotten the, uh camera in time i mean i could still do that there's still plenty of plenty of year left to do it it just won't be each individual mountain i've been to but uh this one seems like it's going to be a bit muddy 
and a bit cold at the top, but this is what's going to happen with this time of year when it's transitioning from winter to summer, or at least spring, where, yeah, you're going to be like in the 50s when you start the mountain, but when you get to the top, it very well could be 20 degrees colder with a lot of wind, and I don't know what's happening with this camera. It just looks fucking awful. Grand Golf Nuclear Station. Grand Golf. Okay. Uh, where are there places? Is there any, pa I want, this feels like North Carolina and I've got no reason to think that, but, um, yeah, I don't know as far as nuclear power plants, at least in the U S as I mentioned, I feel, I know that there's at least one and they keep talking about decommissioning a bunch of them, but Jesus, this camera, man. I feel like I'm I feel like I need to rub my eyes looking at this trying to actually see better but I know it's it's uh just the camera itself it's just that weird feeling like if you ever listen to an audio track of mosquitoes it just kind of makes my skin kind of go yeah it's just real uncomfortable that's what I'm getting visually looking at this but we are yeah something gulf this easily could be North Carolina, or it could be, like, somewhere here. I don't know. Grand Isle, Port Eads? Aids? I'm going to say here, but honestly, I don't know. Like, I don't think there's going to be any point me being on this road where it's just going to turn immaculately, like, yeah, we're at a dead end. This feels southern, like this very well could be the southern U.S. It could be, uh, I missed a turn somewhere, it feels like. it fe Well, at least it looks better coming back this way. Ugh. That has a haunted smell feel to it to me. Like you can walk, just looking at the picture, I can smell the mildew. All right. At least it looks a little better this way. I don't think it's going to make any difference. Like, maybe I can see one of the signs in the seven seconds I have to actually get back. Like, maybe this is like Louisiana. We're going to find out. Okay, yeah, I was in Mississippi. I'm going to have to do a little cut there just because it's now doing the sign up or whatever. What is the actual Grand Gulf? There's no Gulf here. But whatever. I had the region, at least, right? That's all I can do. All right. Oop. That is essentially Chernobyl. I know that from many of the f photos I have taken, or I've seen. I really feel like this is 100% Chernobyl, and that's the sarcophagus over... No, there's windows there. Well, maybe there'd be windows at the radioactive thing. I don't know. I think I've got, I think this is like 99% sure this is Chernobyl. But I'm going to back up a bit just in case. Hmm. I really do think that this is. Okay, construction stuff. Let's keep going. I mean, this is great if this actually ends up being Chernobyl, because there's 130-something places on this uh, map they have, or this GeoGuessr challenge map they have, and uh, Montage. O-O-R-A-L, Oral, the Urals. Let me back up a bit. Oral and it's like an E N softer E R G O. Oh, energy, yeah. The Ural. See, this now makes me feel like that's the Urals, and this is not Chernobyl because that is a not a very old looking, um, that doesn't look like the sarcophagus in a sense. No, it doesn't. Give me 
Okay, do we have anything on here? Da are you? Yeah, this is not. This is the Urals. That's what I, okay. Good thing I saw that. So the Urals are around here. Um now this this um where this is exactly I don't know. Like this this definitely does not feel feel. I know there's one around here. I'd have to pull out the book and actually look at it, but I feel like there were quite a few uh nuclear power plants throughout the Soviet Union and they talk about the there was there was one that was even that that happened before uh Chernobyl that was you know kind of covered up. And I can't remember what it's called. It starts with an M. Okay, this is as far as I can get. Man, is this it can't be. There's not enough trees growing within. Oh man, if this turns out to be Chernobyl, I'm going to be very I mean, it's going to be hilarious if it is. I mean, I don't know. Where's Pripyat? I mean, this .ru is on the thing. I mean, this could just be a decommissioned one because they decommissioned quite a few power plants right after the, around the time that they were doing the cleanup of this because of the faulty RBMK thing. I, it's all these things are gonna. I'm just going to try to say that there, it was a design of a power plant that they used during the Soviet times and they had some stuff staunch supporters even though there was some flaws to it with the positive uh vacuum i forget what it was called i'm not gonna be smart okay it was oh sir what why is it doing this my mouse is being a major pain in the ass right now all right you know i'm not gonna try it's being a dick okay vulcan arms free house i know that there's one get off the screen i'm i'm getting a come on thank you Thank you. All right. This is private property. Okay, they're very frank about it. Let's sit home, and I'm going to rotate to a size well. British energy. So that must be it up there. All right. <clears throat> where We didn't actually get Chernobyl here. I have no idea where this is. I don't know much about... British power plants, or let alone where they're going to be located. This feels very much kind of just out in the woods. I mean, there's no woods here. It's kind of gone out of the way. What is that out there? Is that like one of those oil things on the outside, out in the water? This thing looks crazy. It's just like some big monstrosity. Just up on a hill. It just needs like underlighting to make it look like some some sketchy fucking uh corporation building that they do nothing but scheme there. Size well. So I gotta look for a size well. I this feels like since I know that they do a lot of uh like uh oil derricks out in the North Sea, I feel it's on this coast. Now I don't know if I'm gonna find a size well just by looking here. But I'm going to try, because what else do I got to go by? And if it turns out to be here? Then cool. My logic was sound. However, this, this is not looking... This is not looking very promising doing it this way. I'm just going to click, like, maybe somewhere around Scarborough. Okay. So we're on a beach. I'm going to go this way and see if I can't find a highway, a route, something to let me know where I am. I mean, this is a size well. I don't know. I'm not seeing any uh, street signs. This is a bit out there. Hello, bikers. 
Can you tell me how to do the to find this place on in your country? Let's go. Let's see. Um, what do you say? Yoxford household waste site. Leston. Okay, hey, these are tiny. <clears throat> excuse me, tiny towns. Give me a bit more. I'm not finding. This is the opposite of the road I've wanted to find here. It's 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 just as tiny. Although that could be promising. It is not. Why is the height restrict? You can only be under six foot six inches. That's funny. Why do they put British measure the uh, the imperial minutes the the U.S. measurements with the standard measurements? I mean, it's it's awful thoughtful of you. I mean, it's probably just saying the same thing if I turn around. Yes. Well, size well. Maybe I'll zoom out and go to the south here. Am I just seeing like was that actually not even? Am I just assuming too much as far as like where I was looking? I feel like that's like a oh we were super south. Why is it it's refusing to cooperate? All right, so I'm not gonna fight that anymore. Anyway, other than surprisingly enough, a U.S. one, but th granted, I was looking through Vaseline to find it. Uh, didn't do that bad. But this is your uh, official start to your weekend. Congratulations, you made it. We both made it. We're going to keep making it, doing it and doing it and doing it well. I'm representing, not Queens. I don't know if you're in Brooklyn. I'm not either. Great song. Anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll be back again on Monday with some more guessing geography, maybe thematic. I don't know. But if you got any ideas, thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. I will read them and respond back. So have a good weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday. Goodbye.